All right, bracket that you how a bracket that you how a shy bracket that you how a bracket that you how a shy bracket that you how a bracket that you how a shy call halal la you how a bashim you how a shy and as Hebrew interpret bless you how a bless you how a shy all praises to the father you how a in the name of the son you how a shy I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad teaching his word and sincerity and truth shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp, and uh, this is my quick morning show, Lord willing, uh, Lord allow this show to be edifying to those of the whole for elect. And um, the entitlement of this video would be moral values and principles, moral values and principles, and these that th and these are very important to have in these latter days. Okay. And these days that are approaching uh, the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right. What what man of person ought ye to be, as the scriptures say? All right. And I'm going to read that scripture first since I quoted it. This is 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Why? All of Israel. But of course, we know all of Israel is not going to come into repentance to the Lord today. That's why the Lord numbered them to the sword. So who is the all? The elect. OK, the coming to repentance before the great and dreadful day. If you can't see that we're living in evil times and in wicked time, then then hey, that's your fault. That's your fault because you're not looking because maybe you two drowned. In the world, you two drowned in the ways of the world. You know, let me read again. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. What is his promise? Redeeming the elect, uh, bringing forth a new earth, refreshing the earth. Promises of our new bodies being changed in the twinkle of an eye. OK, having the kingdom, being a ruler over you, other nations, being judges. All right. Uh, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, but willing that any, but willing that any should perish. So, excuse me, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fur and heat. And the earth also in the works that are therein shall be burned up. All right. Because there is a destruction that's coming. This place in which you call America is known as Mystery Babylon the Great. The mother of harlots. All right. The woman that's set upon the beast. So this place is going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire. All right. Now it says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. That's why it's important to, care, to have moral values and principles And those moral values and principles Is of the Lord All right, Keeping the Lord's statutes and commandments To the best of your ability Conducting yourself Mannering yourself in a certain way Because if you're a part of this world You're going to be numbered to that sword If you're a part of this world And your customs is of this world Then that means that you're going to be destroyed With this world The Lord said the fashion of this world shall pass away It says but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Boom. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Everything is going to be on fire, man. Everything is going to uh, dissolve, man. It says, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be? In all holy conversation and godliness. Now that word conversation, it means to manner yourself. It's not talking about, you know, what choice of words you choose to use. It's talking about how do you conduct yourself, you know? How do you manner yourself in this wicked ass God forsaken place? You know, are you a part of the world or are you of the most high? You know, and that goes for women as well. Now, I had did a quick Google search nothing deep morals values and principles it says a moral is a subset of principles that more uh, specifically 
applies to human behavior and the principles of right and wrong or good and bad. A moral bias textbook definition is concerned with the principles of right and wrong behavior and the goodness or badness of human character. Today is clearly living out um, the scripture of Isaiah where it says they call evil good and good evil. You know, they're justifying homosexuality. They're justifying being a, tra a transsexual. You know, everything that's wrong is being justified. It's not being accounted for as wrong. So everything that is wrong is becoming right. And then everything that is right is becoming wrong. Because if you point it out as wrong, everyone is going to gang up against you and say, well, you're wrong for trying to call, call that out on that person, you know, or bring up that. Well, let me read you guys something, all right? This is what the Lord said about his men. And this is why we, when we go out, we speak the words of the Lord. We do as what the Lord told us to do, you know? You guys have a problem with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right? Really, you hate the Lord. And the Lord said, "He those that hate me love death. Um, This is uh, Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. It says, cry out loud, spare not. Lift up my voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. All right. So it says cry aloud, meaning we, we project our voices. All right. We speak loudly so wimp so everyone can hear us. Spare not. Spare not represents not, not to spare your feelings. If we cared about your feelings, you wouldn't be reproved. You wouldn't be able to get corrected. Through... Uh, by the Lord giving us his word and giving us his spirit to teach and in such a manly way in a godly way in an ancient way the Lord have woken up the elect through that way hey you might wake up by getting cut by realizing that what you was doing is wrong and it's against the Lord and then you fear the Lord and you stop doing the bullshit man anyway you know, if hey, if someone's doing wrong, are you gonna sit there and um, pat them on the back and never tell them they're wrong? Nah, you're gonna curse their asses out, man. In some cases, some cases you don't. You might just tell somebody what's 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 the way to go, and they might just go that way. But in the most cases of the multitude of Israel, our people are the most stiff-necked, hard-headed, and rebellious people. They don't want to hear shit. So what the Lord do? He sent his prophets out bedtime. He sent them out weekends, week outs, all right, in season, out of season, to reprove, rebuke, all right, and exhort the name of the Lord, man. Anyway, it says, cry out loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions. So we're in a time where, all right, moral values and principles, which is of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, have to be held at a higher standard, man. It has to be. The Lord said, shall he find faith on the earth? Because who is going to have faith? Only the elect. Only the elect, man. Everyone else is walking in uh, darkness. Everyone else is doing as they please. Lovers of themselves. Pleasures. Giving into pleasures. Adulterers. Idol worshipers. You know, have no works to, to ask for mercy of the Lord. You know? Anyway. It says, and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. So we were set up to reprove your thoughts, as is written in uh, Wisdom of Solomon. We were made to reprove your thoughts. All right. And that really pertains to Esau, but also to our people, man. So morals, values and principles is very important. None of these niggas today, not even in the streets, they carry the same moral values and principles. At least it was something. Now everybody living for for, the, for for what they call it, YOLO. Everyone is living because they think they got one life to live. You know, giving into pleasures, as I said before. You know, adulterous. You know, um, you name it, man. Shit is, shit is crazy, man. None of these kids are being called out for the bullshit. Because black folks are so uh, giving in to this new era where now as the scriptures say children uh 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 uh, uh how I go 
basically your children are over the parents, man. All right. Anyway, let me get to the next scripture. Let's get back. Now, this is first. Uh, all right. This is Acts chapter five and twenty nine. Straight to the point. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. And that's our job. That, that's that's what we do. We 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 ought to obey Yahweh Bashem Yahushai rather than the government or Esau Edom. Or two thirds of our people. That's why when we read in Isaiah 58 and 1, cry out loud, spare not. All right, we're sparing not no one's feelings, man. Because it's not according to your feelings that's going to make things right. It's Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And if you don't go according to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, then your ass is grass, man. All right, so Acts 5 and 29, then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. So if the government passed laws that it's okay to be a homo, is it okay to be a homo? I think not, man. Anyway, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 33. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Exactly. That's why you got to cut off the wicked. You got to cut off those that ain't right. Because if you don't, you basically, what they say the saying is, birds together, flock together. You know, you hanging around a bunch of niggas. You chicks hanging around a bunch of hoes. You know, even her spirit. She may have a mean, evil spirit. You know. Showing discord among the sisters, showing discord among brethren, always talking shit about somebody. Got that bad spirit, that negative bad spirit. You got to cut them off, man. It says, be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners, man. Because now you conducting yourself according to your friends. You got to live up to how your friends look at you. You know, you got to be that bitch. You know, you gotta you gotta act sashy. That's you know, women. They gotta act real like they, you know, bossy. You a diva type. And you doing that to keep up with your friends so your friends could keep uh looking at you in that light. That's like high school, man. You know? That's like high school. You know, men do it too with their homeboys, you know, trying to live up to a certain standard so they could get props. You niggas gonna die trying to get props. Or what they say now, clout chasing. So niggas got to go on YouTube and Instagram and uh, video camera themselves to, to get clout. Get all these views and all that. To get clout. Hey, you see what happened to Takashi 69 You know, he chased it all that clout. And now he looking, he looking, for, looking at jail time, but it seems like he going to get out because he's a wreck. But anyway, it says, awake to thy righteousness and sin not. So, like I told homeboy yesterday, this guy I was talking to, a cool, cool cat, you know. It's, right now, we're in a time where you want to stop sinning, man. If you're really trying to do right, you need to wake up to your how Bashim Yahushai and change your ways. A, keep the, the morals, values, and principles of your how Bashim Yahushai. The Lord truly shows us on how to conduct ourselves. And then we got... We got spiritual fathers. We got big brothers in this truth. So we know how to carry ourselves in this God forsaken wicked place, man. Even in darkness, we know how to carry ourselves and continue to be that beacon of light of the Lord. You know? It says, awake to righteousness and sin not. It says, for some have not the knowledge of the most high. I speak this to your shame. So if you don't have the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, which is who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ, because the true names of the Lord, the Heavenly Father is Yahweh and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. If you don't have the knowledge, which is the riches of the Lord, then it's shame on you, man. Paul said, I speak this to your shame, you know, because the Lord said it was our minds to go astray. Seek the Lord 10 times more. Right now, it should be no excuse that you're not seeking the Lord and you're still in the world or you're still doing some bullshit. Hey, let me say this too. 
we always see the multitude more than what we see with the rip with the small remnant of the Lord, which is the elect. Because the multitude is always out in the open on blast. And you know, we see our people just being degenerates, acting just like Esau now, you know. But then again, on the flip, the Lord is waking up the elect, man. So maybe this video will inspire a hope the whole for elect to, you know, stop shadowing the fence. You know, stop making Terry to turn to the Lord and wake the fuck up before it's too late, man, and get right. You know, it says, um, read that again. For some have not the knowledge of Yahweh, I speak this to your shame. You know, because right now it's not, it's no, it's uh, Jake don't look at the Bible or look at the Most High as their main ingredient. Their main ingredient is this bitch over here with the fat ass, you know, or some nigga over here with this fly rod and she trying to get with him. You don't look at the Lord as your main ingredient. Anyway, <laughs> this is Philippians chapter four, verse seven. It says, and the peace of Yahweh, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Moral values and principles, man. All right. We have to think upon these things. You have to examine yourself, man. Jake, two-thirds, they're not examining themselves. They don't give two flying fucks, man. It says, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And the Most High, Yahweh of peace, shall be with you. And this is the time when we want the Lord to be with us. All right? You know, this, this video is for the elect, man. So if you're coming across this video... And you don't know what I'm talking about Just move on You know our message is to the elect That's who we speak to That's who can hear this word The Lord said he that is in trouble come rest with us He that heareth us Heareth the most high Straight up It says those things which ye have both learned Because we learn these things by learning The word man By, by our teachers all right? And by the, our experience It says and it says, both learn and receive and heard and seen in me do. And the most high of peace shall be with you. All right. This is Romans chapter 13 and 9. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying. Namely, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And your neighbor is is, 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 is your Israelites, man. Is, is your people. Your neighbor is not the Edomites. Your neighbor is not another nation. And, and really to be more precise, then your neighbor is those who do the will of the Father, man. All right? It says, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And that's a true saying. Because if you, treat, you treated your brother as you would want to be treated... What could go wrong? That's all love. The hospitality, you know, the honesty, you know, the uh, the charity. Like, that's love. But two-thirds, they didn't got that, you know. They, they damn. <laughs> anyway, let me read that again. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. So these are the things, the laws of the Lord, we said not to do. And these are things you can help not to do, all right? Yeah, we're not going to be perfect in all of the law. And the law is not going to save us. But it is going to govern us to be closer with our father, Yahweh, And the son, Yahweh Shai, our big bro. All right? It's to govern our flesh. It's to tame us from being entangled with the world. So you got to stop doing that shit. You have to. Baruch form 1. The Lord said, this is the law that endure forever. So does that mean that the law uh, is not in effect? No, it is in effect. 
This is why two thirds is going to be destroyed for breaking the law. We're hoping that we repent. We're repentant to the Lord. So we're hoping that the Lord will show mercy because we acknowledged. All right. We considered. We strived and we worked toward uh, a godly report for us. We want it. We want the kingdom. We want the Lord to return. Okay. We want to be made perfect. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill. You got Jake killing each other left and right. All right. It says adultery. That's hep that's that's going on right now as I speak, man. It's 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 adultery is uh these niggas are masters at being adulterous, man. All right, because this is the way they was brought up. This is the way they, they, they are. This is the way they feel like this, this is the way it is. I don't see how, you know, you in the world, you don't believe in the Lord, and then you got a woman. I don't see how the hell that worked. <laughs> I don't see how that worked, man. <laughs> I don't see how that worked. Anyway, thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. All these uh, 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 things that the Lord is talking about here in the law False witness Bearing false witness Committing adultery Stealing Killing You know Bearing false witness It goes on every day You know Niggas Women love to try to break up brothers That's why you gotta watch these women That claim they believe If you know a woman That was talking to another brother in his truth She has some relations Don't Talk to that bitch. Leave that bitch alone. Don't, don't, don't think with your rod. You got to think with the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai in the mind, man. All right? Because she'll tell you, oh, we ain't never had sex. All right? But then she could tell you all of this man's business. You don't know if that woman's lying. Don't go off of, oh, she ain't lay down with him. Oh, well, I'm, I'm safe. Man, fuck all that. You know, if any woman I come across talking about she used to talk to him or him i'm not dealing with you you can keep it moving man ain't nobody make you're not mixing me up with those troubles that's trouble man so to stay safe is don't even get entangled with that shit man you know i remember the elders uh the elders said a long time ago you might as well get you a woman in the world way more easier than dealing with a woman uh uh that claims she believed man but we are in these times where these women are waking up to the fact of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. They all waking up to the fact of who they truly are. You know? A lot of them. You know? But that's just my my humble uh, uh, wisdom that I to give out to brothers that are be in that situation. You know? Because here it is. A brother could, could have put that bitch away because she was a demon. And then here it is. She telling you something different and now you dealing with her. The most high gonna kill that bitch. Yeah, and I'm being blunt because it's you know, just gotta be that way, man. The most high gonna kill that woman. But then you hear you wife and her thinking that she a woman of the Lord. Why even deal with this woman? You should have never had no dealings because you might get caught in that fire. You know, you don't want to lose your salvation over no woman. You know, and you women, you gotta stay with your man. There's no hopping around you with this brother that's the whole for elect. And then you switch up and you with that brother that's the hopeful elect and he a prophet. Lord ain't going to have you bouncing around to these different men. You out of your damn mind. The scriptures say the Lord is not the author of confusion. Once you get one of the men that's, that's of the Lord. And if he and if he is the elect and you not with that man no more, you ain't getting with no other man. <laughs> ain't no other man the Lord dealing with you. All right. Because that was your ticket, man. The Most High made the men more precious than fine gold, which he's doing that now. And eventually it's going to be. The elect men is precious. Those are the tickets, you know, when it comes to you women, man. But um, anyway, let's keep staying on course. Um, Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. All right. Now, I hope I didn't stray away too, too much. The, the title of this video is Moral Values and Principles. All right. And this world doesn't have it anymore, y'all. Yeah?
There's no such thing as moral values or principles in 2019 here in Babylon the Great, which is known as North America, okay? So we have to have our moral values and principles of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and we need to help hold it at a higher standard, man, all right? <laughs> Living godly, holy. The Lord said, he that is filthy, let him stay filthy. He that is holy, let him stay holy. He that is righteous, let him be righteous. We got to hold to that, man. You know, remember that the Lord is going to wipe this place out. We see it, man. So, moral. A moral is a subset of principles that more specifically applies to human behavior. So, we got to have good behavior when it comes to the Lord. When we all, the scriptures say, um, we all shall come to the seat of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and we're going to be judged whether good or bad. We got to have good behavior. It's like when you were in school, when you was a kid, you know, you want your teacher in kindergarten, first grade, you know, when you have, um, you have um, a parents conference, the teachers say he has very good behavior. He's a good student. Yeah, he's passing. You know, that's what, that's what we got to do with the Lord. We got to wipe, we got to wash it, we got to uh, strive uh, and get away from our sins. We got to ask the Lord to to uh, cleanse us from our sins that we committed so that we can be looked as, you know, in a good good character of the Lord, man. Not, not with the blood upon us. So it says, a moral is a subset of principles that more specifically applies to human behavior and the principles of right and wrong or good and bad. A moral by its textbook definition is concerned with the principles of, of right and wrong behavior and the goodness of, or badness of human character. Because there is a such thing as bad and good, okay? Just like it's a up, down, left, right, there's a such thing as good and evil, all right? A bad person, a good person, Good behavior, bad behavior. Because it seems like ain't no such thing as bad behavior. All right. So anyway, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.